Hello everyone, Brett here, and a couple of people have asked for a tutorial on how to use the WordPress version of SiteScrape, so I thought I'd make a quick video and show you how it works. So I've got a fresh install of a sample WordPress blog that I've created. Um, the very first thing I'm going to do is go to the plugin section, and I'm going to install a new plugin. So right up top here, I will click on the Add New button, and then I want to upload the plugin from my computer since I've downloaded it after purchase. I'll click the browse button and find it on my computer. And as you can see, I'm going to actually upload the entire site underscore scrape dot zip file. Do not change the name of it. Uh, do not unzip it when you upload it. Just go ahead and select it from your computer and click on install now. I, once I install it, I'll click on Activate Plugin. And the site, site Scrape plugin is now activated on my WordPress install. You'll see on the left hand side here, there is the Site Scrape menu. So I'll click on the Site Scrape menu and confirm that it's installed. You'll know it's installed when you see the logo and the Install New button. Okay, so now the way Skyscrape WordPress plugin works is it attaches itself to pages that you create on your WordPress site. So I'll go over here and I'll actually add a new page. And I'll just call it Demo. And since we're going to attach the site scrape to it, we don't need to add any content. We just enter a page name and click the Publish button. Now we'll go down here to the site scrape plugin. We'll click the install new button and you can see it's going to ask us which WordPress page we want to attach this and scrape to. I'm going to select the demo page. I'm going to enter the URL that I want to scrape. Make sure I enter a full URL that includes the HTTP colon slash slash www part. And then if I want to change the links, I'm going to enter the full URL of the link I want it to direct to. So just for this sample, I'm going to scrape another one of my products, tabengine.com, and I'm going to link it to Google. And I'll click the Save Now button. And as you can see, SiteScrape has now attached itself to the demo page. It'll show you the name of the page the name of the URL it's scraping, what it's changing the links to, and then your options to edit, view, or delete. So let's go over to the blog itself and see what it looks like. So we'll just click the view button. It'll open up a new window for us. And we can see that it is indeed scraping the Tab Engine website. And we'll go ahead and see if it's changed the links. I'll click one of the links. And this should take us to Google since we directed SiteScrape to change all the links to Google. And it is indeed taking us to Google. So there you go. That's a quick look on how to use the SiteScrape WordPress plugin. If you have any questions, please feel free to head over to SiteScrape.com and click the contact button at the lower part of the screen. And we're always glad to help. Thank you and enjoy.